In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Wi-Fi not working on Windows 10 or Windows 11 and how you can fix all kind of Wi-Fi issues like Wi-Fi not showing up, Wi-Fi icon missing, Wi-Fi not getting connected, Wi-Fi connected but no internet access. So if you have any related problem, then apply the solution that I'm going to share in this video and I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. After enjoying the video, if you find this helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video. For any question, let me know in the comment section. The very first thing that you have to do on your Windows 11 or 10 search box, you have to click on it and type here troubleshoot. You will be getting an option of troubleshoot settings, so you have to click on it. And here you get another option additional troubleshooter click on it and here you have to look for two different network connections like one will be internet connection so you have to click on it and then click on run the troubleshooter now this will start detecting the problem and let you know where the problem is so if you get any suggestion follow the step and if not then you have to close it now scroll down a bit and you will find network adapter click on it and then click on run and it will ask you that what kind of connection you have the problem with so either you can choose wi-fi or all network adapter so click on wi-fi or click on next now again it will start detecting and resolving the problem so wait now it's been done it says investigate router or access point issues unplug or turn off the device after all the lights on are off so basically it's not giving any suggestion from the computer so we can just close it and move with the next step so again you have to click on the search box and type here ncpa.cpl hit enter now here you will be getting all kind of network connection you have to look for the wi-fi just make a right click on it and choose properties here double click on internet protocol version 4 and make sure that these both options are set to obtain an ip address automatically and obtain dns server address automatically if not, then check this both options and then click on OK. And OK again. Next, what you have to do, make a right click on the Wi-Fi adapter and then click on disable. Just wait for a few seconds. Again, make a right click on it and choose enable. Now, after doing this, check back that if the problem get fixed, if you can see your Wi-Fi connection or if the Wi-Fi is working or not, Check back and still if the problem occurs then what you have to do next you have to just reset the network setting so click on your search box type here network reset and you will be getting network reset option you have to click on network reset and then click on reset now before resetting make sure that you remember the password of the yeah. wi-fi connection because the next time when you try to connect it it will ask you the password so if you know the password go ahead and click on reset now and after that once it reset it, try to connect again and see if the problem get fixed. Next, what we have to do, we will try to update, roll back and uninstall the network adapter. So right click on your Windows icon and from the suggestion choose device manager. The device manager will be up. Now here you have to look for network adapters. Double click on it and then you have to look for the Wi-Fi adapter like Intel Wi-Fi as it's showing up here now. And then you have to make a right click on it and choose update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers. If there are update available, it will automatically update it. And if not, then you have to close it. Again, make a right click on it and choose update driver. This time you have to choose browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available driver. Now here you have to pick the different uh, network adapter and then click on next and try to see that whether this fix the problem or not if not next again you have to make a right click on it and choose properties then click on driver tab and here you will be getting an option of roll back driver so if this option is being highlighted then try to roll back driver probably it will ask you to restart restart and see that if the problem get fixed and if not then you have to click on uninstall device again click on uninstall then restart the computer then it will be automatically reinstalling the driver for that you can check back again if the problem get fixed and still if you have the issues then do not need to worry we have plenty of more solutions so you can close everything from here now click on the search box again type cmd command prompt will be up make a right click on it and choose run as administrator the black window will be coming up here you have to type few command that you will be finding in the description you can copy and paste the first one will be netsh 
space win sock space reset hit enter the next one would be netsh space win sock reset catalog hit enter again now you have to type netsh space int space ip space reset space reset log dot txt hit enter again and then finally you have to type ip config space forward slash flush dns hit enter again now you can close this box and then finally we also need to assure that all kind of network related services are running on your windows services so click on the search box again type here services and then click on services app the first service you have to look here will be wlan auto config so you have to search for wlan auto config and make sure that this service is running so make a double click on it and here the startup type should be set to automatic and the status should be running if not then select the startup type to automatic and then start the service then next that you have to look is dhcp client so here you have to look for dhcp client double click on it again make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the service status is running once done click on ok now you have to restart your computer check back if the problem get fixed and still if you have the issues then finally you have to go with the power flush so if you are using pc then you have to unplug take out your power adapter from your pc and after that press and hold the power button at least for 30 seconds so press and hold it for 30 seconds and once done just plug in back your power adapter and see that if the problem get fixed same you can do for your laptop what you have to do you just need to remove the power adapter and after that shut down the computer press and hold the power button for 30 seconds release it again turn on the computer and see that if the problem get fixed so that's all guys hopefully this complete list of solution will give you the fix and resolve the problem of wi-fi not working not getting connected or not showing up and if you found this helpful please consider subscribing to the channel like the video for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye